This video is sponsored in part by Blue Ring Education, the makers of next generation science, Metholia and Kids HealthNet. One way we can separate a solution is through a process called distillation. Let's take a look at this process in action. Step 1. Set up the distillation apparatus. The typical distillation apparatus consists of a burner, a distillation flask containing the substance we want to distill, a thermometer, a condenser, a receiving flask and some corks to connect the components. Step 2. Cool the condenser. Cool water is fed into and out of the condenser to keep it at a low temperature. This is essential for condensing the vapour back into a liquid. Step 3. Heat the substance. The burner is used to heat the substance we wish to distill in the distillation flask. As the temperature rises, keep an eye on the thermometer to monitor the boiling point of the substance. Step 4. Vaporization. As the substance is heated, it begins to evaporate and boil, causing vapour to rise from the liquid in the distillation flask. Step 5. Vapour enters the condenser. The vapour passes through the neck of the distillation flask and enters the condenser. The condenser is kept cool by the circulating water, which causes the vapour to cool and condense back into a liquid. Step 6. Collection of the distillate. The condensed liquid, known as the distillate, drips from the condenser into the receiving flask. This distillate is the purified substance that we aimed to separate from the mixture in the distillation flask. Step 7. Completion of distillation. The distillation process continues until all of the desired substance has been vaporised and condensed into the receiving flask. The substance remaining in the distillation flask, which has a higher boiling point, is called the residue or the still bottom. By carefully controlling the temperature and collecting the distillate at the appropriate boiling point, we can separate and purify the desired substance from a mixture using the distillation apparatus. This method is widely used for various purposes, such as purifying water, perfumery and the production of essential oils. Don't forget to subscribe!